This is the mix track in FL Studio. This tutorial is for beginners, so I'm going to be going over the very basics of how to use the mixer if you're just starting out. I'm not going to go into any of the crazy fancy stuff, but there's like four or five things that you need to know to be able to make beats or record vocals. So I'm going to go over those extremely simply. And this video is a clip from a longer video I did called the ABCs of FL Studio. So if you'd like to see that, look in the description and let's get started with the mixer so this is your mixer this is where the audio will be routed from every one of your samples your plugins and everything and this is where you're gonna put effects on your sounds these green lines here at the bottom are showing where the sound is being routed to so you can see this is going into the master track so the audio is coming from mixer track one into the master and everything is routed to the master the master track is where all the audio comes through let's start with something super basic like routing a sample to the mixer track i'm just gonna grab a kick and i'm gonna click that kick i'm gonna do a kick click and then you can see over here where it says track you can either click track or you can press Control L, and that is going to automatically route it to one of the mixer tracks. So see, it did to uh, mixer track one. If, however, you want it somewhere else, you can drag right here and put it wherever you want to put it. So now that our kick is in our mixer track, we can add effects to it. So this menu over here, these slots, this is where all of your effects are. All you have to do is click on one of these arrows and load in an effect. Another important thing to know about loading effects in here is rearranging them. So let's say you have this EQ and then you have this chorus, but you want to put the chorus before the EQ. All you have to do is go to these arrows and move your mouse wheel up or down. And it'll, you can go all over the place, whichever slot you want to do, it's up to you. And if you want to delete an effect, just click on this arrow and go to delete and bam. It's deleted. Another important thing about the mixer track is if you go to this drop down arrow on the top left corner and you go to disc recording, you can select auto create audio clip or not have it selected. I usually have this selected and this is usually for when, let's say you have a kick pattern or something like that. And you want to bounce that out as audio so it's not in MIDI anymore. If auto create audio clip is off and you go down here, right click this button and save it anywhere and then press alt plus R to render it out. So if you do that, there will be no audio clip in the playlist, but it will save it to your files. If you turn this on and you do the same thing, right click the arm disc recording button, alt plus R, oh, alt plus R then it'll drop an audio clip of what you just recorded into the playlist. So personally for me, I like to have that on because I usually bounce things to audio to save CPU so I don't have to have a bunch of plugins running. One other thing I will say is that you can take this track and you can route it to any other track. Let's say you've got all your drums, one through five are drums, and you want them all to be in the same mixer track so you can affect them all at the same time. Just hit control and click and drag all of the inserts that you want. And then go to the arrow at the bottom of the mixer track that you want to route all of those tracks to and choose route to this track only. And then now whatever samples you have over here will all play through here. And the last thing I think a beginner should know is that if you have a stack of effects let's just say yeah camel crusher a phaser and an eq and you tweak the settings and stuff and you really like the way that that made a particular sound sound then you can right click anywhere on this mixer right here and go to file and you can save this mixer track state so that next time that you want all of those effects you don't have to try to remember how you did it before and you can just load them up as a preset in this mixer and it'll appear down here so that you can select it next time you want to use it 
And that's about all you need to know for the mixer as a beginner. This video is a clip from a longer video I did called the ABCs of FL Studio, which you can find in the description of this video or click on the end screen. Hey, what's up?